Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Well, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, so we've uh, gone through and made some of the changes as, as I was mentioning at the start of this video. So we've now got the 50-inch monitor up hooked to the uh, PC. We still have to do some cable management as you see the cables coming down in, in the back here. Um, we're going to tuck those into a, ca a cable uh, a cable race. I thought I had some uh, when I started the project, uh, but I don't. So uh, I'm going to have to make a work in a trip to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's to get a uh, cable race for that. Uh, and then I'm going to tidy up the cables down here. I'm still doing some changes. So uh, to kind of give you a little bit of background, it's a ProScan TV. Uh, picked it up at ABC Warehouse, kind of a, a, a local thing. It was on sale. The nice thing about it is 1080p, so it works natively, very nicely with with the quad core. The quad core has got a, a HDMI output, so it adapts very nicely. And I'm not sure if you can see on the video if it's coming out. Uh, however, I was looking up some resistor color codes on the internet, and again, standing in front of a 50-inch monitor is just a fascinating experience, especially with a uh, fairly decent resolution rather than it just, you know, has 720p making it just bigger. It, it actually has more detail, so very pleased with this. There are three HDMI uh, inputs as well as a USB input. So what we're doing is I've got the, down here, I've got the, the quad-core Intel box running Windows 7, uh, running one of the HDMI ports. I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm going to put on another one of the HDMI uh, ports. And then uh, Chromecast 2 on the third HDMI port. So as you can see, the uh, iPad uh, sitting over there, I can Chromecast to the uh, big screen TV and also send from my PC on the other side of the room. Uh, etc. to this big screen TV. So kind of a unique setup. So I've got those multiple pieces and then I can also plug in a USB drive for videos and images and play them on the TV. Went with a wireless keyboard and mouse setup as you see a Logitech I think uh, K270. So very happy with that. Again has opened up a lot of desk space if you notice how much space that monitor took up. I did end up extending the monitor uh, or the TV monitor slash uh, out from the wall a little bit, uh, about an inch over the standard uh, brackets. Um, so I, I don't know if I kind of like that or not. My idea was to keep it as flush as possible, but because of the length of the screws with the brackets and everything, it was just easier. And I, I'm sort of kind of actually liking it uh, stand out a little bit, especially when you stand in front of it. Uh, it looks very nice. Um, got some obligatory... Uh, artwork up on the walls next to the monitor so that's that's turned out nice so nice space so again um, use this bench a lot for you see this bench in, in a lot of my uh, Arduino prototyping segments etc I do want to do some more I do, do do stuff with audio equipment obviously DIYHiFi.com uh, and, and it provides uh, what I'm really hoping for is a nice bench area to do those kind of nicer YouTube videos um, and you can see down the corner there's one of the monitor stands that does an overlooking uh, view, I mount the camera on it, so I stand behind it, I can see what's happening on the camera, then my hand's in the front of it and with whatever I'm working on. So that actually works out pretty nice. I've got the halogen light over there, actually I've got another one uh, that's in the workbench behind me. I've actually got about, oh, almost 50 some feet of, of desk workbench in, in this room, so uh, very large room. Um, lots of workbench space, so, but uh, I got another halogen light that'll fit over here, so that, you know, to light up the work area when I'm doing it. I've also got overhead halogen lights. I think you're seeing part, part of those in, in the video, so that works out good for doing the down lighting. So all in all, it works uh, very good as, as a workbench area, so I highly recommend if you want to do something like this to, to go ahead and do this. Um, as I mentioned, I also have a digital oscilloscope and spectrum analyzer kind of sitting back behind the iPad connected to the PC. So I'm really looking forward to have a 50-inch oscilloscope up there running, so uh, I think that'll be pretty interesting. And then also be able to Chromecast YouTube videos and things like that to it. Uh, especially for my desk on the uh, across the other side of the room, is I think would be pretty cool. And then obviously work in the different pieces. I'm also looking forward to having the kind of giving the Raspberry Pi the newer version of permanent home. It'll go down there uh, next to the quad core. Um, 
and again work off the the wireless keyboard mouse uh, situation too like the pc so that'll kind of give me uh, some flexibility in doing different things because one of the things i really want to mess around with is wolfram's L, uh, not wolfram's alpha but wolfram's uh, mathematica uh, on the uh, uh, raspberry pi and do some stuff so crunch some numbers so I think that'd be nice, and also do some integration with the Ar Arduinos. You see a couple of Arduinos over there, and the camera slider I was working on, or am still kind of in the process of. So anyways, hopefully this has been a little bit of an inspirational video of how to set things up uh, for kind of doing YouTube video shoots and kind of, um, you know, experimenting with, uh, you know, different... Uh, pieces of electronics and that so again i've been very happy with it the monitor itself i think i picked it up on sale for like four hundred dollars you just can't beat that kind of deal for this so um again uh, appreciate uh, if you could hit like below again it's free we don't ask for any money for doing these videos but it really does help us out in, in making more and more of these videos and if you like the channel please subscribe there'll be more of these i put them out on a pretty regular basis uh, I, pro I try to get actually, actually a couple of them a week, really focusing on kind of how-tos and, you know, just uh, regular tips and tricks and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, again, thanks for watching. Cheers.